billionaires. They are a rare breed. In fact, according to a report from 2019, out of the Earth's total population of roughly 7.7 .7 billion people, there are just 2,604 that can claim to have a net worth of over 10 figures. They say time is money. They also say money is power. Ergo, time is power. It's no surprise then that some of the most powerful and richest men on the planet take such care in picking out their timepieces. A luxury watch has always been a big and emblematic present. So it's not uncommon for most of us to think that surely these billionaires with fat bundles of dollars in their bank accounts must rock some insane watches, right? In this video, we will be taking a look at some of the watches that the billionaires wear. Before we get onto that, please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already because it helps us out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and it lets us know that we're helping to enrich lives out there. And without any further ado, let's get on to the video. We will be going through a list of some of the top billionaires and the watches they wear. Akio Toyota is the president and CEO of Toyota Motor Corporation, Japan's largest automaker, a role which he has held since 2009. Sometimes the decision to keep a large corporation in the family is a bad one. But Akio has bucked that trend by making Toyota one of the most respected brands in the world. He wears another big brand name on his wrist too, in the form of a Patek Philippe Calatrava 5119G. This classic model is a mere symbol of Patek Philippe, boasting the essence of the round wristwatches at their finest. If we want to speak about timeless, this model is definitely going to make it to the list. Supremely elegant, plain, and charming. This timepiece has a mechanical, manually wound mechanism and a shiny black alligator strap. Businessman Jeff Weiner was the CEO of business and employment online service LinkedIn until recently in the mid-2020. He decided to step down as CEO and move into the role of executive chairman. The company was bought by Microsoft for $26.2 billion in 2016 and Weiner played a crucial role in the acquisition. He is most often spotted with a stainless steel Audemars Piguet Royal Oak timepiece. The Royal Oak is credited for being the first ever luxury sports watch. Its solid construction and unconventional octagonal bezel lent a masculine and powerful look. Designed by the iconic Gerald Genta and first released in 1972, the Audemars Piguet watch is known for being one of the first luxury sports watches. The price of this mechanical watch is not indicated on the website, but the price tag is set to vary from $25,000 to $50,000. Jeff has also been spotted with a Patek Philippe annual calendar moon phase, worn on a leather strap which also costs around $50,000. The American businessman seems to favor sports watches as a match for the casual and dynamic company culture at LinkedIn. If you're somewhat knowledgeable about the stock market, then you surely know about the king of the stock market. American business magnate Warren Buffett runs Berkshire Hathaway, a conglomerate that owns more than 60 companies, including well-known brands like Duracell and Dairy Queen. Buffett is also a notable philanthropist, having pledged to give all of his stock gradually to charitable institutions. He wears an 18-karat yellow-gold Rolex President Day date with a silver dial. The day date has been a symbol of success after having been worn by many US presidents and world leaders. Make sure to stick around until the end, some have beautiful timepieces. Australian-American James P. Gorman is the chairman and CEO of multinational investment bank Morgan Stanley. He took over the firm in 2010 after it had nearly collapsed during the financial crisis and then set about rebuilding it. He has been spotted wearing a Rolex Cosmograph Daytona Chronograph 116520, a special Rolex model, as it is Rolex's first in-house chronograph movement. This watch was produced from 2000 to 2016. It's a 40mm model with a stainless steel case and a white dial with a caliber 4130 automatic with 44 joules. Its architecture incorporates fewer components than a standard chronograph, thereby enhancing the movement's reliability. No surprise here, the Apple CEO follows the modest footsteps of the company's founder Steve Jobs when it comes to timepieces. And you guessed it, Cook's a fan of the Apple Watch. It's also a really good promotion for the watch, right? Cook is almost always wearing an Apple Watch, which fits with the goal of the product. Apple wants to make a machine that is a life companion, not just a fashion statement. As a result, this CEO tells time, makes calls, sends texts, and collects health data throughout the day. Cliff Asnes is one of the co-founders of AQR Capital Management, a global investment firm based in Connecticut that oversees over $180 billion. 
AQR stands for Applied Quantitative Research. It employs factor-based investing, offering products ranging from hedge funds to mutual funds. Asnes has been seen wearing what the Swiss watch experts at Crown & Caliber believe to be a Patek Philippe perpetual calendar. The timepiece was inspired by exhibits in the Patek Philippe Museum from the 1940s and 1950s. Its heart is a newly developed caliber 324 with double apertures for the day slash month and an analog date. Larry Fink is an American billionaire businessman. He is the chairman and CEO of BlackRock, an American multinational investment management corporation. BlackRock is the largest money management firm in the world with more than $6.5 trillion in assets under management. Fink is using his firm's vast shareholder positions to press boards for better behavior in areas of executive pay, climate risk disclosure, and boardroom diversity. Fink has been seen wearing the Tag Heuer Grand Carrera, which goes by the price of $4,700. Tony Aquila is an American businessman. He is the founder and former chairman and CEO of Solera Holdings, a technology company that provides risk and asset management software and services to the automotive industry, as well as the property and casualty insurance industry. Aquila is a serial entrepreneur and an inventor with over 100 patents. He is also a deal maker with over 70 transactions worth $15 billion in transaction value. Tony has been seen to wear the Seamaster Planet Ocean Collection. It's been around since 2005 and has paid homage to Omega's ocean heritage. Omega Planet Ocean is a step forward in matchmaking excellence, combining a classic look with a modern touch. Former New York City Mayor and Bloomberg founder and CEO Michael Bloomberg is another prominent man who chooses to wear simpler watches. Bloomberg, whose net worth is $60 billion, has been photographed wearing a Victorinox Swiss Army watch, which only costs around $100. This 37mm watch has a nylon strap with a simple white dial with Arabic numeral markers. Victorinox is famous for its Swiss Army knives, as well as cutlery and travel gear. It seems that Mike is a part of a greater trend amongst billionaires to choose watches based on personal preference such as style and robustness over price and luxury. As we're entering into the top 3, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Who doesn't know about THE Bill Gates who has been in the top 5 billionaires list for more than 3 decades? But this Microsoft founder turned philanthropist hasn't thrown away his billions into acquiring luxury items. He can afford to buy even the most expensive watches in the world, but instead he wears a simple budget watch by Casio. If you know anything about this billionaire, you are sure to know that this man is purely humble and he is not shown to be flashy in any way. He is frequently seen wearing Casio watches, specifically a Casio Duro, which retails for $70 or less. The watch is Casio Duro Marlin MDV-106-1A, a three-hand analog watch with a resin band and stainless steel case. This watch has a simple black dial with round markers with a date window at 3 o'clock. Who could have imagined that the man who has this much wealth and yet choose to wear something so resolutely simple thing definitely perfect as an idol, isn't he? Jeff Bezos, the founder of the e-commerce site Amazon, is currently the second richest man in the world with a net worth of $188 billion, topped only by Elon Musk in January 2021. This man is rarely seen without his Wall Street bro vest pretty much all year round. He also seems to be quite loyal when it comes to timepieces. The watch we saw him wear over and over again throughout the year is the Ulysses Nardin Dual Time. Some refer to this watch as modest, considering Bezos' net worth, it costs around $11,000 to $13,000. The Swiss-made sports watch is a 42mm nautical watch with a two-time zone feature. This watch is a display of silver and marine with a stylish and classy mix-up. But you have to admit, it is a relatively modest watch for a man with that wealth, but he does have a $42 million 10,000-year clock, which he has installed in his Texas property. This clock is 500 feet tall and is powered by the Earth's thermal cycles. It only ticks once a year and the cuckoo will emerge from it in the millennium. The automobile industry is being taken on the next step, where it is seeing its future fully electric instead of the internal combustion engine. The most credit for shifting people's attention to the EVs goes to the man who stands on top of the list of the richest persons in the world, Elon Musk. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO is given the name Real Life Tony Stark. Now, do I have to tell you who Tony Stark is? Like a lot of tech billionaires, Musk does sometimes wear a watch but is not really a watch guy or enthusiast per se. But watches haven't totally passed him by in his famous quest to get the first human to the planet Mars. 
Musk has been photographed wearing a special edition Tag Heuer Carrera Calibre 1887 SpaceX chronograph, branded with a SpaceX rocket on the front and rear of the case of the watch. The band released it in a limited edition of 2012, not only as a collaboration with SpaceX, but also to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the model being the first watch to be worn in space by John Glenn in 1962. Well guys, that's it for this video. Click the links above to check out some of our other videos. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this. We have many great videos coming up, so see you guys in the next one.